Hey guys, I'm Brian Scheidler, creator of The Treasure of Monte Cristo Island. And I'm Megan Scheidler, and I'm the art director. And we are here for this behind the scenes episode to talk about art direction. So, Megan, the the style of The Treasure of Monte Cristo Island, um, at the end of version 1.0, it, it didn't exist. Um, the theme was completely different from where it, it eventually arrived to. So when we decided on kind of the the treasure of Monte Cristo as opposed to the kind of uh, tropical island feel that I had started with. How did that direct you stylistically? Well, um, so Brian gave me this basically a skeleton of the game and I took that and put uh, design into it. <laughs> I guess you could say we decided on doing kind of an old world map feel for the game and um, deciding what that would look like and pulling elements and ideas um, for the map was was my job. <laughs> so um, what I wanted to do was to bring in some textures and I also wanted to bring in kind of a woodcut look to a lot of the elements in the game and so very very graphic style um, for the uh, resources in, in the game and also we, I really wanted to have this map legend that listed all the resources listed all of the crafting um, elements so that it's really easy to to recall that information um, yeah, I just, my job was to also then figure out the color palette for the game, and which was really fun. I love working with colors. Um, the, the map started out very monochromatic. Lots of browns, beige, your typical old world map mm -hmm. feel. And so then um, I wanted to bring in more color, some actual accents of color, um, particularly with the characters and then the resources. So I wanted those to really pop off of this, this old world kind of vintage map. And so um, we brought in some reds, some greens, uh, blue, pink, uh, what else? Orange. Yeah, yellow. orange and yellow. So um, we're hoping that those just kind of bring the map more to life and just are really appealing to look at. The rule book is the other major area where uh, layout and design come together. How, um, how difficult was it to make the rule book uh, something that was appealing to look at, but also really usable? Well, rule books are tricky because you really have to get all the information out there. So I didn't write all of the rule book. <laughs> I helped edit the rule book, but I didn't write all the text. But um, I wanted to really present the information in ways that was really, really quick referencing, really easy to follow, um, definitely uh, very, you know, visually <laughs> grabbing. You can see all the elements there. You can see all the pictures. You have to have pictures. You have to have illustrations in the rule book. Um, and when it comes to the cover of the rule book, because the, the design of the box is a crate. We wanted it very tactile. And then I also wanted the, the rule books to look like they were also, you know, really about that same era and they maybe were on the ship and it was just something that the crew found and threw in the crate, you know, something that kind of fit with the whole theme. Um, but I, I really do like working with layout and, and text. So um, that was something that I could tinker with and just <laughs> work on my own and then show everyone what I did and tinker some more and, you know. Yeah. Uh, last question. What was your favorite uh, thing that you got to be uh, uh, working on? My favorite thing? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean beyond just designing where everything went on the board um, and the spacing. I, I liked creating the grid work for the map in, in the map. I wanted it to be very grid-like, but also 
interesting. But okay, that's not really what I was going to go for. But <laughs> I was, I I really liked working on the, the the box. I know that um, maybe that's not the most exciting part of a game <laughs> for some. Some people just toss the box, but don't toss the box. <laughs> that's my favorite part. Um, no, I really enjoyed um, creating this this crate, and I really liked working on the back. Again, that's just layout of all the pieces and showing everyone what's inside the box. Um, I really liked working on the back side of the boxes, both the you know base game and the expansion. And it looks good, so I hope so. It's a lot of a lot of work, so. Well, there you go. That is just a, a quick look at uh, some of the uh, everything that went into the artistic design. Yeah, so I did a lot of the layout, got it all ready, and then you'll meet Brian Carroll. He's the illustrator that we brought on, and he took everything up to the next level. So, yeah, really happy. <laughs>